My name is John Meese, and I'm excited to have a chance to talk with you today about declarative visualization in Python using Altair. If you're not familiar, Altair is a declarative visualization library for Python. Here's a quick example of what this looks like for a faceted scatter plot. We're plotting horsepower versus miles per gallon, faceted by country of origin. Start by importing Altair, and then wrap our car's data frame in an Altair chart. Method chaining syntax is used to specify that we want to plot circles. Altair uses the concept of encoding to map data columns to mark properties like position, color, and size. Here we're saying we want the X position of the circles to correspond to the horsepower column, the Y position to the miles per gallon column, and the subplot row to the country of origin column. There are lots of reasons to love Altair. Its API is declarative, so you spend your focus on how data should be mapped to various elements of your chart rather than writing lots of imperative code to build up a chart step by step. Its API is composable. The individual concepts you learn can be freely combined to build up sophisticated charts from simple components. Altair includes built-in support for data transformations, which reduces the need to jump back and forth between pandas in your charting library to iterate on visualizations. One of the most unique features of Altair is that it supports interactivity in a way that gives you lots of control over how chart interactions behave. And Altair's popularity is growing. It's currently the second most downloaded visualization library from PyPI, after only Matplotlib. Altair 5.0 was recently released, and it's the first new major version of Altair in several years, and it brings a bunch of exciting new features. Exporting charts to static SVG or PNG images has been dramatically simplified, no longer requiring an external web browser or Node.js in installation. Support for non-pandas data frames like Polars was added using the data frame interchange protocol. There are improvements to the method chain syntax to make it more ergonomic. We've improved support for grouped bar charts, and error messages are much more helpful. I want to highlight two new developments that are coming soon. The first is integration with Vega Fusion. Vega Fusion is a library I've developed that provides efficient Rust implementations of Altair's data transformations. This makes it possible to scale Altair visualizations to millions of rows as long as they include some form of aggregation. Vega Fusion can also push transform calculations to external SQL systems like DuckDB with other database systems in the works. Vega Fusion's development is sponsored by my employer, Hex. Altair already has great support for geographic visualizations, but one thing we've been missing is support for map tiles. A new package called Altair Tiles is in development to add this capability. To learn more, check out our documentation website or GitHub for code, issues, and discussion. Thank you very much.